YouTube Country Boy Prepper here. So I'm out here testing out these uh, Fresnel lenses that I got from those TVs from the thrift store uh, from previous video. And um, gosh, I forget how many I got out here. It's like 10 of them. Um, but uh, I've sorted them out and gone through and tested them all. And these right here, how many of them are there? Four or five, something like that. These are the ones that are, they're, you know, they're, they're not so good. They're, they're linear, they're not spot, and they're, um, they're very unfocused. Um, and until you see one that is focused, you may not, it may be hard to figure out or understand what I'm talking about. But when you find one that's focused, you'll, you'll totally understand. Uh, these four over here are the keepers. These are all really, really good. And I wish I could tell you exactly what makes these different from those. Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, and honestly, I don't know which ones came out of which TVs. But I'm guessing these are the older TVs um, is what I'm thinking. Um, my theory is is that the, the, company, the TV companies, for some reason, changed them out of some sort of liability issue or something. They thought that they, they needed to make them safer or something. So they, they made them more diffused and less focused and... And they don't create that instant flame. These these lenses right here are are like flame within seconds, less than five seconds. You know, sometimes instant, sometimes like three seconds. Just depends on how well you can hold it and focus it or hold it steady on on your target and how good your sun is. But um, I've just been testing them out here in the yard with a piece of wood and and uh, holding them with me and Luke and it's you know they're kind of flimsy and difficult to hold very well unless they're framed up if they were framed up the flame would be even more instant but uh anyway I'm gonna show you all what I'm talking about here by the way the trash picked up the TVs it's a miracle I can't believe it <laughs> um, alright so Luke and Mariah y'all grab that front one right there and let's bring it out here to this board we got a bright sunny day out here no not a cloud in the sky You can see we've been scorching this board here. Now you want to make sure you get the the textured side up. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's this side that needs to go up. All right, you can see right there already. It's already really crisp and bright. All right, y'all, don't don't catch the yard on fire, y'all. Put it on the board. Mariah, you want to hold it where it's flat. Put your hand out and support it. Okay, let's go over here. Alright, you need to get level. Alright. Y'all are about to catch the yard on fire. This may not work. <laughs> They're not able to do this. Alright. Alright, change of plans. Uh, Mariah's going to hold the camera and me and Luke are going to try to hold the lenses since we're having difficulty with that. All right, Mariah, just put it down there and show where we focus. Right about there, I think. That smoke? Yep. Fire, I think. Oh, yep. There's fire. It was about three or four seconds, maybe. And it's flaming right there. Pretty sweet. All right, let's grab another one. Just leave it uh, running, bro. All right, here's lens number two. Let me kind of angle it up a little bit. There it is. And there's flame. Took about four or five seconds. Yeah, well, I was kind of tweaking it. See if we can make a line. <laughs> Sideways. There's flame for number two. Alright, there's number three. And there's flame. Five seconds. And on the grass. Oh, we're about to catch the yard on fire. <coughs> <coughs> it's 
boat. <laughs> All right. All right, this is the largest one that we had. That was really focused. Right about there. And there's flame. Seven seconds. No, it wasn't seven seconds. That was four. Like three. four or five seconds. It's like a line. It's like a line going through the right. Yeah. Can we do it? No. Take this one back over there and put it away. Okay. All right. So you can see we've scorched this board pretty good. Um, of course, the, the, the ones that aren't really, really focused are still great for, for cooking, uh, for solar cooking, if you want to use them for that purpose. Um, they're just not, not as much fun when it comes to playing with them and melting things and, you know, the extreme stuff. That you see a lot of on YouTube but um, anyway hopefully I'm gonna be able to get some of these really good ones framed up um, I've got another one that is real big that is uh, not focused which was my first one that I ever got I might take that one apart and salvage it and put um, one of these other lenses in it I'm really curious to see what these things will do when it's all framed up and sturdy and stable and I can really you know hold it down and focus it on a on a small target and see you know how 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 good it is really what i can do it'd be fun to see i've seen people on youtube melt concrete melt pennies melt all kind of crazy stuff glass and all sorts of stuff it's just amazing anyway guys i appreciate you watching um i'll probably do a few more videos about these uh fresnel lenses in the future so stay tuned i'll put them all in a playlist by the way if, if you want to check it out if you had not seen some of the other videos or you want to see what else i've done i'll put a link for that playlist in the description below and uh, i'll just put all my fresnel lens videos in there so you can watch them if you're interested so anyway guys appreciate you watching be sure to smack that like button before you go